Welcome to World's Edge, home to the beloved Age of Empires franchise. We've been on a journey to continue the legacy of creating world-class real-time strategy games that started over 25 years ago. That legacy is all thanks to you, the fans. You inspire us to develop new ideas and evolve our games. In 2021, we partnered with the award-winning studio Relic Entertainment to push the franchise into a new era with our latest title, Age of Empires 4. It was a global event that heralded a new chapter of storytelling and strategy. Age of Empires IV humanizes the compelling stories from that historical time and presents a new perspective through engaging gameplay. It challenges you to make history your story. And what better way to do that than with a trebuchet? Did you hear that whoosh? In the first year of Age of Empires IV, we added new civilizations, new seasons, and features that fans were very excited about. But there was always something else that fans wanted. We kept hearing the same thing over and over. When are you bringing it to Xbox? We are so excited that finally all the content in Age of Empires IV is now available on the Xbox console. But figuring out how to make it for a console audience was easier said than done. It was impossible to go to any social media platform where the Age of Empires account was posting, where there was not a, a comment underneath saying, when is it coming to Xbox? We knew that it was important, especially from the perspective of being able to bring RTS and Age to as many people as possible. We'd been talking about it for a long, long time, but it had always come back down to that key factor of getting RTS from PC and mouse onto a controller. You get the defensive stance like, you can't do this. Like, well, why do you feel that way? Well, I'm gonna have to like move a fake mouse around. Okay, we're not doing that. A controller is a drive mechanism. You're driving a character, you're driving a viewpoint. You are driving something through an environment. How do we make that work? How do we find a solution? We have these ideas, but you know, we can't build the game internally. We're only like, we're not, we're not a huge RTS studio, but we would love to go look for partners. And the first team on our list that we want to talk to was Relic about doing Age 4. Relic has been making RTS games for 25 years, and Age of Empires has always been a reference point. It's truly a global effort between so many different teams, Full Climax, Forgotten Empires, Relic, and the World's Edge. World's Edge brought in Climax Studios in the UK, who had a background in console games. Climax Studios is a real powerhouse when it comes to user interface elements. And we felt that they could bring a unique perspective to building out the control scheme. There was a port once upon a time in 2001. I played it and I hated it. I hated everything about it. So we have a history, even within our franchise, of how not to do a port. If we were forced to port it, we probably never would have done it. Our challenge was we're bringing in Age 4, which has some extra complexities over Age 2. How are we going to make that work? What we found is we could actually use that framework to bring the game into its own. This game is basically a re redesign from the ground up. Age of Empires 4 is a different engine. It wasn't just a case of doing what Age 2 did. We had to build it all from the ground up. You have players sitting in the living room away from the TV. We have to reconsider all the UI menus and all the in-game HUDs to make sure they're as legible, as high contrast as possible. The whole development team knew that micromanaging individual villagers was going to be difficult on console. We have introduced a lot of automation systems. All of us as game designers and game creators are always seeking that next thing. Like, how do we evolve the experience? How do we move it forward, right? There are two that really stand out. First one is called the Villager Priority System. The Villager Priority System is something we came up with in Age 2 because we were after that idea of like, okay, how do we stop the console player from having to do this insane amount of micromanagement of their villagers? Based on a pie chart, you can say like, hey, 50 percent of my people are going to go work on wood and 25 percent are going to go work on food and the rest are going to go work on gold and they'll just start working on them. Now if you want to change that, we've added all these cool settings for mid game, early game, wood rush. That were designed by our pro players. So these presets are not just something that were slapped together. That's where you can turn it off and do everything manually. It's up to you. We also have the site menu system. That allows you to quickly issue a command contextually on the ground. It's context sensitive, so it'll bring up the right structure that you can build at that spot. In age, you were always relocated to having to select a villager, bring up the build menu, click the item that you want, and then drop that build foundation on the battlefield. Now with the SMS, you don't have to do that anymore. You can literally pan the camera over to a spot, 
bring up your production radial, drop a build foundation there, and a villager will automatically be selected to start the build process on that particular foundation. The kind of magic to the radio menu is that it allows you to do many things at the same time. With the console version of Age of Empires 4, we also added a new find menu feature. This is a unique radio menu that allow you to quickly find and locate units or buildings or a collection of buildings in the midst of battle. Those were the primary things that the minute we had them working, we we're like, those are in the H4 console. And we often joke uh, between you know, the designers that some of us even prefer to play on the controller now because it, it is so good. This was something bigger than a port. This was something that we had to approach the way that you know, one would approach starting out a project from scratch. Age of Empires 4 on controller is a new experience. Because of that, we knew we needed to design a new entry point. When we're making tutorials, one of the things that we always try to do is figure out a way to make them not now do this, now click on this. Like, how do we build it into the experience? He first needed to get a lay of the land. The Rise of King tutorial is a completely new story within Age of Empires 4. For a whole new audience, we wanted to bring them through an experience that was a great storytelling experience. A collection of large rocks caught Guillaume's eye. Wary of hidden threats, he decided to investigate. But also introduced mechanics to them in a progressive way in which they could learn from it. We definitely ran into things where we realized that some of the ways that we were building graphics and units were not as optimized as they need to be for something like a console to run really smoothly. But there were things there that actually ended up improving the PC game as well. I really hope that when we bring all these new console players into Age of Empires 4 for the very first time, that they get to share that enjoyment and everything that we love about the game with their friends and their families, much like I did with my dad when I was growing up. Well, that community is so special to me. I met my wife playing Age of Empires, and uh, maybe you know when we have children, they'll play Age of Empires too. So my favorite thing about Age of Empires is the diverse civilizations that are represented. Even the language is representative of the civilizations for that time period. That dialogue grows or, or changes as the civilization ages up and the time periods change. I've worked in the RTS genre for over 29 years. I'm very genuine in saying that I actually prefer to play RTS games now with the controller. You get all of the campaigns, all of our civilizations. And most importantly, mods. Mods will be supported at launch day. Age of Empires 4 is available now on Xbox consoles and cloud. We took great care and attention to bring this game to console players, and we hope you're as excited to play it as we are to share it with you. There's never been a better time to pick up a controller and start making history. We'll see you on the battlefield.